Hello everybody, my name is Electromagnetic Pigeon, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. I'd like to talk about today, uh, selling things using the vendor machines at your camp. Now, I have another video talking about where you should put your camp, but this video will go more in depth on selling things and optimal placements. So, as you can see here, I have a couple, I think that only, a, I think only like a few of these are actually in use. Uh, yeah, only one of these are in use. And what I do here is I sell my extra blueprints and ammunitions and things like that. And I make a good bit of profit off of this. And it's actually really good. Because you can sell anything that you're not using. Um, like, And also, if you have extra plans a lot of people will buy plans like within the last like 20 minutes i've had like three people come here now obviously that's sort of i'm in a pretty optimal location there's a good few people around here currently um white spring is probably the best place for selling things there's so many people who come in through here it's pretty unrivaled um i'd also say if you're looking for somewhere where there are more people with if, if you're a lower level, maybe closer to the vault, down by the Overseer's Camp in Wayward, that might be a place. By the Flatwoods, that might be an area that could be pretty decent. Or over by Point Pleasant could be pretty decent, although there's not as many people as, um, as over here at White Springs. Um, and I'd say that White Springs is probably the best place. It's super great for people. A lot of people come by here with a good bit of caps because this is more of a high level area. I have another video on why it kind of isn't and how you can get here within 15 minutes of leaving the vault. Uh, you can check that out um, in the I card in the top right hand corner. Um, but I'd say that it's probably one of the best ways to earn caps. Like, I have 5,000 caps, which is not a bad number for, like, everyday tasks. You know, you have a lot of fast travels before you're going to burn through caps. You could probably even get a jetpack for certain kinds of power armors with 5,000 caps. It's really a pretty good source of income. You don't have to do anything for it. People will just come by, purchase. I've gone through, like, half of my uh, blueprints in the last like two months that I've had these up uh, without really getting on super often and you don't you, you it, it's it, because your camp's only loaded in when you're online it's you know you could probably uh, maximize things by going AFK and uh, but I I haven't done that you know I I mainly just um, I mainly just get on do some things get off so I don't get a ton of sales but obviously the rewards are here if you're willing to sit AFK for like an hour if your computer can handle that. If you're in White Springs, people might come by all the time and check things out. My, um, I have somebody who I play with a good bit, and they have a, their, their camp tends to be right over there, although they move it a bit. And they sit basically t like 10 hours a day while they're doing stuff. Basically round the clock when people are actually online with, with their camp open, and they get like thousands of caps a day. Um, so I'd really recommend, uh, doing that if you're in need of some caps. It's a really good idea for selling stuff that you don't need, like, extra ammunition, or extra plans, or extra armor if you're a power armor user. Um, and with that being said, I'd like to end the video here. If you did enjoy or found it useful, please give it a like or subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy it or you didn't find anything useful for it, please be willing to leave a dislike. Um, but... Peace.